We had to take the lot in. Start again. <sighs> okay, we can sort this. We can sort anything. So this job, the customer wanted three new designer radiators. Now there was a little one going in the toilet, downstairs toilet, a little bit bigger one going in the hallway, but they wanted a huge one in the kitchen. The only problem is they're all cavity walls. So the one in the downstairs toilet and the one in the hallway, not a problem. Put that on the cavity because it wasn't that heavy, but the one in the kitchen, you're talking 50, 60 kilogram when it's full of water. That's a lot of weight to trust the plasterboard with. So there's only one option for it. We had to reinforce the wall. And you'll see, nothing went right on this job. Everything I had thought of in my head just didn't go to plan. But we are welcome it. Let's take a look. Just dust sheeted everywhere. Because it's a plumber's dream. The light carpet. So I think, looking at it, probably going to be somewhere here. I'm guessing. Then I've got to find where the manifolds are. So let's get this bed out of the way. Get the carpet up and have a look. Got all the bed out of the way, carpet out of the way. It says really creaky. Turn a few boards up. So what I normally do is get the boards up that have already been up. So they've been up, they've been up for a reason. So I'm hoping we can find the pipe. So there is a radiator in the bathroom somewhere here. So I'm hoping I can find drop to the bathroom. That'll give me a good idea of where I've got to come down from my pipe work. Then I'm hoping to pick the manifolds up somewhere in there. But I'm guessing, it's just a guess, but I think the cylinder used to be there. They've upgraded to a combi, which is down in the garage. So the cylinder used to be there. Well, there's a cupboard on this side. I'm hoping the feeds be somewhere there. I've had to move the bed over because that's where our flow we turn them. Not them two, these two. And that pipe there, the returns won't be there. Everyone's all the way through on that board. And that board's got no brakes in it, so I'm sure it goes all the way under there. So we've got somewhere to get that up. But that's the feed to the downstairs toilet here. Goes into a void. Please don't drop the camera. There you go. See it a bit better now. It goes into a void across an in. I had a big void to be fair. And here's my wall. So I'm hoping we come up somewhere here. All that side. I'll have to have a look at the wall because. I just tumbled it up and the plasterboard so I don't know whether we're going to be able to come up like that mm. okay we'll have a look just started taking the wall out and it's that stupid egg calm stuff you know the stuff that's cardboard like an egg box carton it's all that the wall's really thin the two walls get the strength from each other. So the more of this egg carton box stuff you take out, the weaker the wall gets. So you have to put supports in, screw it from both sides if you're gonna replaster the one on the walls. So I might have to rethink what I'm doing here. Always something, man. Always, I've had this before in the bathroom. Um, we had to take the lot out, start again. <sighs> okay, we can sort this. We saw anything. Well, the plan is, just by to the lad who's doing the, the plastering for me, is I'm going to put a piece of timber in there for my bottom bracket. Um, my pipes, I'm going to have to be in 10 mil. I mean, there's just no room there to, for 15, so 10 mil. Round the back of that stump, you see, there's a gap there. I should have to get round the back of there. Through that void. Now, that void, you've seen it upstairs because all the way to the top. 
So we are going to go through this only calm because even if we did, there's two joists there. So section at the bottom, section there, take it out all the way to that timber. Get the paper off and he's going to skim the whole wall. You won't even tell we've been. That's the plan anyway. So let's see if we can, um, see if we can do that. If it works out, he's gonna, you think it's going to in your head, does he? I thought I was going to take I, I, I have had it before with Ronnie Calm. You don't see it very often, but... Because I'm not going to just rip all that plasterboard out, feed my pipes, jobs are good and happy days. No. We are lucky, aren't we? We have to use speed on this one. We have to get down that void that I showed you earlier. I'm going to get that. I need a copper. Um, and you ain't gonna learn from me. So, speak it. Don't look speak it. Gotta be used sometimes. One. I don't know if you can see daylight. There you go. That's where we're doing two. Oh, that's speak it. Very much room there, is there really? So, I call come the other side because they're going to reach them down there. All sorts of something. Okay, I've got to get that screwdriver out of the wall. This is, where am I? Centre the, the wall, and the radiator is 590. So it's 295 either side, which is there and there, and add on 40 mil. That's our valve, forty mil of side, and that's where we want the centres. There and there. Now for the bracket, let's get some. Go and get some wood, because that's about twenty five mil thick. If I put a three b two in there, it's gonna overhang, which you'll see. That's too thick. Get some more wood and we're gonna put a brace in there, measure it up, put a brace in the top. It's got to come to there, so 10 mil will get round that button there and we'll just sold it on. A reducer, that's a longer, that's a longer one than normal, and it'll be perfect. I'll go into rad tails, but it looks like it's more speed we've got here, yeah, so connect that up. And the other one fell out, so I've got to go and fish that back out. See ya, this is the top section that I need to take out now, so I can get my wooden buttons in there, so I can have the right idea, so I want to come back. Let's get that cut out. Now I've got the wall out, I've still got all the honey calm, the easiest way I've found. To get the only car out is the claw side of the hammer and just drag it. And that'll get it all out. Use the claw side. There we go. Let's get all that cleared up. That's out now. The plan is I want to get everything done here. All the pipe work for the bathroom radiator well downstairs toilet radiator and this radiator so when the lads come in tomorrow they can just crack on in here and i can get on without doing that radiator so i'm gonna hang this radiator here it's about where i want to put the brackets in there i'll just normally bring my rad in or just measure that this is from there, it's only a light bag, so I bought it in. That's where our brackets are going to be. And get that out of the way and get the brackets hanged. There's our bottoms, the brackets. Oh, just line them up with the holes, put some holes in, and we get to get them fixed. And for that, we use these Bull Fix, amazing product. So, them are the cavity ones. They only need a 7mm cavity. So it should work perfect. So I'm going to drill a couple of 20mm holes in there, get them on, 
get the bottom bracket on, then I can hang the top bracket. So the bottom bracket is on. What we're going to do now is put the top bracket on and just mark the top of that either side, and that's where the top bracket goes. And that way, you'll get that level, dead on, perfect every single time. So bottom bracket on first, put it on, put your bracket on, score the top, take it off, do your new holes. There you go. I'll show you the ball fix work on the top bracket because it's just going to be easier. So that was the top line and the bracket. I'll just line them up. Put our holes in. Just like that. Now for the ball fix fixings, it's 20 mil. So 20 mil spade bit. Now I've just got to break up that cardboard, other than that, it won't expand behind the back of it. There we go. It's just tougher than what you think, but it's actually quite strong. Uh, these walls up. Not on the edge of one these. Collar, in, tap. You can get your fish. Just like a fish. Got me from open. So it feeds through, then it'll open up like that. So you put him in like that. See, so he looks like a little fish. Fish him in, get him a mat, give him a tap. Okay, so you just make sure the flat surface is what you're going to be screwing into. Don't forget your collar. And if I was to put that in the wall, then we're going to come up. Can't work with it, come up. Okay. Get you in, get you in the tap. I've got to go get plastics for these. So that's how they go on. I'm going to do the other side, put the brackets on, and get that sorted out. I'm trying to use smaller washers as possible, because I don't really, you know, like that. I don't really want to. Put a bigger one on than that. Other than that, you'll see through the rod. Make sure that's level. Yeah, that's good. You get your rod, that should be absolutely bob on. Perfect, huh? He says, with confidence. So just put some 15, 10 mil juice on there, connected a couple up there. Same this side, you should just, just miss that wood there. And in the back side of the ball fixing, you can see they open up on the other side. So yeah, let's get right into the bathroom and connect them up in there. Okay, let's get this one plumbed in. Oh, the wrapping blue, I don't know to set on the nut. Oh my God, that is rock solid. So, we have a good wrapping blue set and there's rock solid. So you take that hot, it's not hot enough for me to get burnt on so only a bit of heat and it will break the seal on the rapid blue. Yeah. We got our valve in. Bit of scrap pipe. And we want it a bit in the okay. let's cut that. to the 
valve. Shut straight up the pipe. Bush, so I'll have to use the solder. Undo that. In there. On that. There we go. Then we've got to solder that now. You are seeing also the ones there. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. That's it. That is that one done. Now there's this all the radiators in. I'm gonna strengthen all that wall now. Get the pipe in. So the pipe's gonna have to come out somewhere at the bottom and put our wood in. And it's gonna have to be hitting in. Yeah, let's get that done. Connect it up over there. I'll connect it up here now. That's where we want it on that centre line, so... Yeah, should be plenty of pipe. Cut from your flux bush. Never put your flux on the inside of your fitting. But do as I say, not as I do. Just ignore this bit. Feed it. Back upstairs. I'm going to sweat this out with better position, but this is a monument sweat box. It's got like this clip here, so you can actually clamp your board down. Pretty good. in there, 100 mil skirting, so yeah, 125 into the pipe, so I've just got to line up the other one that now. This is the piece of wood that I've got, 25 mil, near enough the same as the one I've seen, I'm going to put it in there, I've got some plates, the idea is, yeah you'll see that, plate it up, that should, be solid. Let's try that. 
piloted the holes. And I've got massive fat screws from Dixie's. 50 mil heads, 30 mil. That should be plenty. Let's get this one on first. Actually, I'll screw it to the wood first. I like to screw my leg at the same time. That's a solid plate. All I have to do is, when you know the plasterboard, you have to shave the back of the plasterboard just on that section, just so it'll go flat. Yeah, on that side. That ain't going nowhere. Hey, this is a good trick if you haven't seen it. We need them pipe centers 680 between each other. We've them level, so I've just got a scrap piece of wood. I'll put on two marks one there, one there. Center of the, center of the wood, that's 680 apart. Two 16 mil holes for either side, put that on, nasty template. And you can put your spirit level across the top, make sure it's level. That's the pipe scene, that's more template wood. So, what I can do is put that on either end of the pipe when I'm ready tomorrow, then put the spirit level on top. And you can level your pipes when the plasterboard goes on, which makes it a lot easier. Got the wood in, that's solid, that is. I you know where and the top piece that's all in. I've just took measurements of where these brackets are as well because obviously I don't want to put the that bracket before but that one I don't want to put the try and put the bracket on the wall and end up drilling through the bracket so I've just took some measurements. That's solid. Now I think I'm just gonna connect up upstairs, get it filled up, make sure all these joints are okay, make sure the, the toilet radiator is okay, and I'll be here for today, ready for ready for tomorrow. So that's where our space fit comes up. I'm gonna put another clip in there for that one. That's our flow and return. So I'm just gonna chop them, put some T's in, connect up over there. And that is done for the day. There we go, just gotta clean up. Gotta clean up these joints. But that's it connected on the flow and return. Just um, come across there to pick up the speed fit. I've gotta get some clips on them. I've got one there, but it's over here. Just cut that too short, but I can pack that out, get another one there. That there is actually off a of Baxi, Baxi 800. I didn't use the um, preform pipe. I kept it, look at that. Fitted nicely in there. I could have done another one for there, but anyhow. But that's the flame returning. Get these boards back down. Fill it up, test it. That should be good to go. Okay, it's day two. We've got this radiator to replace. It's going to be putting in that corner there. Got lads in here doing the plastering, so. Gonna get that radiator off. And get this one on. And these are pretty good to have. These are plum tumps. Got about three of them. And you just get them under the rad and they drain off into there. That's just about ready to come out now. Just lift that off. See what we've got behind it. Old radiator's off. New radiator's in place. All we've done is put it where I want it. So lined it up with that one. So we're going straight in with that one and just mark where our bracket's going to get either side. Move it out of the way, I'm going to do the bottom bracket first, get that in. Just put the brackets where I want them, right there. You've just got a 20mm spade bit. You just put through two holes, and that will. Have a column in there now. Now do that, them two, and them two. Hang the red, and get the top on. I've got the bottom brackets on. And all I've done there is plug the radiator, marked out at the top. 
And all God in there is put the, the brackets on the top and that's it. The pipe's all cleaned on that one. It's still got a bit of water in them. I'll put the back back on that. On that side. Just one elbow on so I can go into this valve. All right, hang the rad and get that one piped up. So that one, just put it off that elbow there. I'm going to have to use an adapter there. Bring it back to the wall, but you're ready to see that. I'm up above. You know, so I mean, really, you don't want to cut the wall out and move the pot, but I can't keep doing that. You know, I'm plastering the walls and that. The customers are through that, so I'll do like that. This one, look at the difference between it's straight and there. It's quite a big gap, so bit a bit of pipe. I'll be straight in there, look at that. Look at that for bending skills. Yeah. Managed to bend that pipe, got it in the cup lad. Just got to solve you up there, that looks sound. There we go, that is all done. I'll say it ends up on that one, should they kick out? That one underneath, you can you know, stand up. You can barely see it there. Looks a lot smaller than that old one. I'd rather have been able to get in there, take the wall out, move the pipe, replaster the wall, but it's stay practical sometimes. Sometimes you have to make a bit of compromise, and the compromise is the, the bottom one when it's across the bottom of the skirt inside. It looks nice, I like it. Well smart. Plasters have uh, put the plasterboard in. The pipes are 120 off the floor, so 100 mil skirt, 20 mil up. Then we'll come back, we've got to cut it and put it in. I managed to get the skateboard in there, get all the paper off, scrim the holes. And I'm just going to give that a cut of plaster. You won't even know we've been there. Apart from two bottles sticking out the wall. Finish off the bathroom because I've cut the holes. So I can put a bit of paint on the screen board, but I don't know whether they want to get behind to wear the wallpaper. I'm not getting called back to try, <laughs> try and so they can decorate. But I've left the radiator off. Because I'm going to come back and fit that radiator. If they want to decorate, I've only got to do them two nuts, take it off, put it back on. So that's the toilet one done. It's the hallway one all done. Just got it on and tested. That looks good. This plaster is all done. Here you can even tell we've been here, apart from two pipes sticking out of the ground. And the smell. And the smell of plaster is. It's gone bugs. So, just come back to that dry, cut some of the paint, we're going to come back, fit the rad. So we've booked the customer back in and we're going to go back, hang the radiator once they've painted the wall and uh, yeah, that's going to look that's going to look really smart. I do like the design of radiators. Um, a lot of people do ask for quotes for them. The problem is when they get the quote, they don't realise how expensive they are and sometimes you do have to do work like that where you have to reinforce the wall or put wooden battens behind, whatever. I have known them, you try and hang them and the bracket just sinks back into the wall. Yeah, especially on cavity walls or dot and dab. Dot and dabs are worse. You can use whatever fittings you want. Um, they'll still sink back into the plasterboard just because of the sheer weight. And a normal radiator, you've got a long bracket, so the weight is distributed across the length of the bracket. But the designer ones, you've got four small brackets, so you find the, the sink back into the plasterboard. So, yeah, there, there can be a bit of a pain designing radiators. I think they're going to look... That one in the kitchen is going to look well smart. And they did smarten up the hallway and downstairs toilet and the customer's well happy with you but yeah that's job done again thanks to everyone that subscribed commented liked my videos i'm growing a little bit quicker than what i thought nearly i think i'm at 350 now so yeah as i said if we can get to a thousand i'll do a giveaway if anybody wants to message what that giveaway should be feel free um install the shelves around the corner as well it's three days away from posting this video so i'm really looking forward to that Going up on the Wednesday. The reason we're going up on the Wednesday is for the plumber social afterwards because there'll be a few drinks in there uh, by the custard factory. So if any of you are going, um, I'll see you there. Have a good one.